Hello and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of January 17th, 2020. Today we find out that President, Vice President-elect Camila Harris will resign her seat tomorrow. So that's two days before she gets sworn in as Vice President. And that California um, Governor Gallum Newsom, I think it is, or Newsom, Newsom, is actually going to be putting in Alex Padilla, which is the current California Secretary of State, in her seat to fill it. And on our serious news, we have Democrat Senator Edward Mackey of Massachusetts basically praising President-elect Joe Biden for his stimulus proposal. But there's also going to have to be it getting past the Senate Republicans as well. We'll see what happens with that, right? The newly appointed Chief of Staff for, for Joe Biden released a statement stating that four crisis Biden's crises Biden wants to address in his first 100 days in office. He wants to address the COVID-19 crisis, the resulting economic crisis, the climate crisis, and the racial equality crisis. He says that these, he's going to be doing these through executive actions. So he says these executive actions will deliver relief to the millions of Americans that have struggled in the face of this crisis, which is true. On, on the day he gets inaugurated, Biden will ask the Department of Education to extend the existing pause on the student loan payments and interest for millions of Americans with basically with federal student loans, I guess. If you have non-federal student loans, you don't qualify for it, I'm not sure. He will rejoin the Paris Climate Accords. He will also end the Trump travel ban on Muslims. Plus, he will mandate masks be worn on federal property and during interstate travel. He will take actions to extend nationwide restrictions on evictions and foreclosures and provide more than 25 million Americans greater stability instead of living on the edge at the end of every month. But as for Biden, um, his stimulus package itself, there are Republican senators such as Senator Pat Toomey and Kevin Brady that have already said that the $1.9 billion trillion stop, <laughs> sorry about that, the $1.9 trillion idea he has is a no-go with him at this present time. Um, and Biden don't want to go to the, don't want to take the quick route, which is called rec reconciliation, because he only gets that one reconciliation thing per year as far as spending goes. And the $2,000 stimulus checks would be considered spending. He would rather go, I hate to say, he'd rather go a bit more of a longer route and try to have a bipartisan relationship between Democrats and Republicans. And this includes him and the Senate Republicans. So I am hoping that it actually works for him because that would be really nice if it did. Because could you imagine if Biden actually got a lot of Republicans on his side? I mean, he has five on his side. He needs, for him to be able to pass it, any stimulus package proposal, he has to basically have, what, all 48 senators, all, de all two independents, plus 11 Republicans on his side. Right now, he has one Democratic senator uh, Joe Manchin, that does not believe in the $2,000 monthly stimulus check plan, so that knocks him down to 49 Republicans, I mean, 49 Dem Democrats on his side, and he needs all the Democrats plus, like I said, 11 Republicans to pass a stimulus package at this present time for $1.9 trillion, which actually would help out a lot of people, because as you heard from my list of, of, of named off here, um, and plus, watch my other videos. He actually has a lot of stuff on there. He wants to give four hundred dollars a week for unemployment and extend it until September thirtieth, two thousand twenty-one. The eviction ban and foreclosure moratorium. He wants to extend that until September of twenty twenty-one. He wants to get the schools open before September twenty twenty-one. <laughs> he wants to increase the federal minimum wage from seven twenty-five an hour to seven to fifteen dollars an hour, which is actually a good thing because. Come on, we're in 2021. We've been at 725 an hour for over 20 years now. So I basically agree with Joe Biden. Raise this federal minimum wage to $15 an hour. 
And watch what happens. You'll see, you'll see that Americans are going to start working a lot harder for $15 an hour than they are for $7.25 an hour. And as far as this, giving the $15 an hour to the servers, no, that's still unfair unless you plan to take make it so they don't get no tips. Get, take them up to the current minimum wage of $7.25 an hour instead of what they're currently at, which is like three fifty an hour, I believe, plus tips. Give them some seven twenty five an hour plus tips. And this way it'll give more of a, a level playing ground. But as far as everyone else, give them the fifteen dollars an hour and just give the waitresses that are gonna easily make fifteen dollars an hour if they're good a current federal minimum wage of seven twenty five an hour. But that's just my opinion. I mean I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that actually disagree with that. But also you know there's a lot of servers out there that make a hell of a, a, a paycheck every two weeks just on tips alone so let's let the facts back me up and if i'm wrong i'm wrong and i'll admit it no problem but until next time you guys have a wonderful evening and i will broadcast again to you the next time i actually have some relevant information to throw your ways that will interest you until then you guys have a wonderful sunday and i will speak again to you later bye